Hello, this is Tyler with Optimize again, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to change the oil in your air-cooled Generac generator. So if your generator has been running for a, a few days um, or a week or some kind of outage has occurred where it's been running and it is hot, of course the first thing you wanna do is shut the unit down before you do any maintenance on the engine itself. So to do that, you're going to open up the lid on top and you're gonna press the red off button to shut the unit down completely. Now, if you were trying to perform an oil change on a generator that has been sitting for some period of time and it has not been running, uh, then you do want to run it for at least five to 10 minutes to ensure that the oil has been heated up enough to come out quickly when you go to drain it. But of course, before you begin, you wanna make sure it's off. And because it's been running, you definitely wanna be careful of the left side of this generator because it will be hot. Once everything is shut down and you're ready to perform the oil change, you're gonna remove this front lid here to give you access to the engine. From there, you'll need a drain pan. Um, that way you have somewhere to drain the oil out into. And so you can put your drain pan down here. You're gonna remove this zip tie here. You're gonna take your oil drain hose point it down into the drain pan, and then remove this cap. That way the oil can drain freely into the drain pan. Once you have ensured that all the oil has been removed, you are going to put the zip tie back on to hold your hose upright. And then you can remove the oil filter. To remove the oil filter, you'll just take a wrench, unscrew it counterclockwise. And from there, uh, just be prepared because normally a little bit of oil will leak out. So just have some rags or some wipes handy in preparation for that. Once you have removed the old oil filter, you're going to replace it with a new Generac oil filter by screwing it back on clockwise. So. Once that is done and you have drained the oil completely and you have a new oil filter on, the next step would be to replenish the oil. So once you pull your oil fill cap, you are free to pour new oil in and Optimize suggests using Generac's 5W20 synthetic oil. Most of these air-cooled units take at most two quarts of oil. And so the way that you wanna do this is pour a little bit at a time and pull your dipstick to check to make sure you're not overfilling it. Once you have ensured that you have an adequate amount, you can check that by pulling your dipstick and looking at the bottom of the dipstick, you have two holes. You have a minimum and a maximum. You wanna make sure that your oil level is between those two. Once you have ensured that you are at the right level, you can put the dipstick back in. Make sure all of your caps are tight again that your oil filter is tight, and then you are ready to go for at least another 200 hours or so before the next oil change is due. Just like anything else, you wanna make sure your generator is prepared for another outage, so close everything back up and put the generator back in auto to make sure it's ready to go. Thank you again for trusting Optimize, the generator people. Thank you.